This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I'm Lockout Men, and I present to you another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. We're back with a new episode of Company Calls. In this episode, we're continuing to find out their drug screening process and if they accept SAP drivers. If this is something that's interest to you, make sure you stay tuned. What are your hiring areas? Uh, well, we are not uh, limited. Like, we hire from all over the United States, uh, except, you know, New York City. We do have some problem with the insurance company there and Maryland as well as of right now. And if I'm not mistaken, I will live California, but I'm going to have to double check on that. It's just we have uh, issues with the insurance companies and it's a hustle. So we're avoiding them. How much experience do you guys require? Um, you have to have your CDL for at least two years and we do require at least one uh, year recent over the road experience and preferably with refer. If you ever pull the refer, it's going to be, it's going to be. What will be the mileage pay coming in? Well, it depends, sir. If you do have the refer experience, it's 60 cents per mile with one cent raised every month. If you do not have the refer experience, it's 55 cents a mile with one cent raised every month. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Yes, we do. Do you help with the return to duty status? Oh, yes, we do, sir. Of course. For drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? Uh, it's urine, sir. So the first uh, drug test, uh, the return to duty, it's going to be observed. It's a urine drug test. And the second one, you know, once you pass that one, it's the, the pre-employment. And it's not going to be observed. It's just going to be you alone in the room. <laughs> What are your hiring areas? We only hire in Michigan. We, we have a yard in Taylor, Michigan, as, as well as a yard in Romeo, Michigan. And so we only hire within um, an hour drive of each of those locations. How much experience do you guys require? Just three months of experience. Drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? I believe it's urine and spit. And do you guys accept SAP drivers? Typically, we don't. It sounds like a butt is coming. <laughs> yeah, normally we, we don't hire SAP drivers who are currently in a SAP program. But if, they, if it was fully completed, that would be a different conversation. What areas do you guys hire out of? Um, all types of areas. It just depends on what you're hauling. You guys got reefer, drive-in, and flatbed. Shipping containers as well. How much experience do you need for those divisions? This might be a question for sales. I do support, so I just monitor the loads. Yeah, sales knows all the rules for all that. I'm kind of confused. So I would have to talk to a salesperson instead of recruiting? I'm a truck driver looking for a trucking job. Yeah, so um, sales are the people who usually sell the people the loads, so they know about all the rules, like how many experience, how many trucks you need to have, and stuff like that. So I just monitor the loads. Is this like a company that you had to have your own truck or something? Because I'm, I'm awfully confused. I think it's confused. either or. So is there somebody directly that I could talk to about a company position? What's your hiring areas? Georgia, Alabama. I've hired out of Ohio and Texas and Wisconsin, Minnesota. So, how much experience do you guys require? For us, it would be over the road position. We're normally about 12 to 15 days out and then home for about three. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We have a few. Yeah. How many more? Um, how many more tests do you need? <laughs> I'm not in the program, but. I said, I'm glad you're not in the program. Doing onboarding process for drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? It all depends. Doing questioning, doing the questioning process, your research process, you're going to run into recruiters or, or directors or HR people like that. And don't take them the wrong way, right? Because I told you guys before that it's all about you and not them. It becomes them when you make it them, if that makes any sense. So 
If you're a driver, and again, if you have like life challenges or you plan on making a move or anything like that, you already know that if you're going from one place to another, you may or may not have to switch your driver's license over. So if you're out of Ohio, but you're planning on moving to Georgia, you got a couple of years before you switch your license over. It, and, it, and that's especially if you're going to be a, a permanent driver. With that said, that same information goes on these companies that's hiring out of certain areas. Now, I know some of them said that your license have to be out of a certain area, but if you're moving to that area and you're planning on getting your life together in that area, you don't have to necessarily hurry up and switch your license over. Because again, like I say, you, you, you can have a couple of years. So when companies or when people of those companies be like, well, your driver's license have to be a, a Georgia license, a, a Texas license. Well, if you're coming down there to move and you're going to uproot your life and, and root it down there again, you may or may not want to change your license right away. Because if you root yourself down there, you might not want to be rooted down there for long, if that makes any sense. So don't get upset with recruiters, HRs, directors that try to roll the questions. You keep it in control because you the one that wants to know about the company. You the one that called. You the one that's interested into the company. So when you run into people that that's like that want to control the the conversation and only thing you're doing is doing your research that's it you you keep the control to yourself until you put in the application until you get approved then their questions will become relevant if that makes any sense but right now your questions is relevant for the moment you're a driver, you're a new driver, maybe you got five years or more, and you want to know about what else is available out here. This is what you want to know. Me, I'm keeping it simple for you guys, but when you call and talk to them, maybe you got other questions that you might want to ask. But see, I'm keeping it simple, and this is the reason why I simplified everything, because you can tell during the conversation whether somebody is annoyed whether somebody is in a hurry whether somebody is is in it you can tell that throughout the conversation that's why i simplified everything what you're going to want to know is especially if you're a sap driver if they help sap drivers that's what you're going to want to know if they hire sap drivers you're going to want to know you're going to want to know how much experience because if you're a new driver with maybe like three four months experience and they're looking for drivers that that they want maybe two or more or one or more you're going to want to know that and uh and now the main question now is because a lot of companies are doing it you're going to want to know whether or not they're going to take a lob of your hair or is they going to just do urine you're going to want to know that simple simple three questions no more than five maybe five or seven minutes of their time and if those questions are answered and they work for you then you can continue on with the conversation if you're interested in that company what do i have to do next oh fill out the application online bam bam boom fill out the application online bam bam boom give them your name phone number social security number driver's license number you're going to want to do all of that but while you're doing your research at the moment, you don't want to give all of that because you might be working for another company and you don't want that company to know that you're looking elsewhere for other opportunities. Because when you give out that information, your name, phone number, last name, driver's license number, social security number, they're going to run you through the system. They're going to run the background check. They're going to they're going to see that you're driving for ABC company. And what they're going to do is probably call ABC company to verify because that's what they got to do. They got to verify your years of experience. They got to get a hold of these companies 
and verify your years of experience if those companies that you driven for are either still relevant still open or still doing business because it's going to kind of be hard to get records from celadon and they've been closed for a couple of years so so with that said again when you're doing your research try to try to keep it simple because all you're doing is your research as long as you keep it simple and again don't get upset if you run into a rude obnoxious or uninterested recruiter or operator or hr person don't get upset just thank you very much for your time and keep it moving because those are the people and those are the companies that you don't want to work for somebody rush you off the phone just because they got somebody else all you trying to do is gauge the fact that if this this company is a good company or not but they want to hurry up and get you off the phone because maybe they're they probably get something before recruiting you or something like that i don't know i don't know who's next